I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Joe and Sarah DiBenedetto and their two sons left the city to move to their dream farmhouse and barn in Fairdale, Illinois. Their barn, their cars, an RV, all of it now destroyed. So when you saw the tornado coming from this direction, it was heading right to your house. Yes. And you're thinking what? I'm thinking my house is going to be gone. Inside their house, a never before used tornado shelter where they rushed as the twister approached. The sons take me inside. So this shelter is tiny. This is where the whole family was yeah. when the tornado hit. Was it scary being here and not knowing what was going on? We couldn't hear anything. So we really didn't know what was going on. So that was the scariest part. Sarah says her husband and sons were relatively nonchalant initially. Mm -hmm. I was OK until I saw them running in total panic because then I knew if they're panicking, we're screwed. They stayed in the shelter not knowing what to expect. When they climbed up the basement stairs. We came out the, the front door there and uh, we couldn't believe it. We just, it looked like a war zone. They saw their barn right away, but quickly walked around the house and couldn't believe their home only a short distance from the barn had relatively minor damage. To give you an idea of the power of this tornado, take a look at this a branch that has gone through the house like a bullet. And we go inside the kitchen here, and you'll see the other end of it. It almost looks like a javelin came through, and the family's already written on it, in memory of tornado, April 9th, 2015. Farther down the street, other homeowners in Fairdale, much unluckier, utter devastation, after what old timers say is the most powerful tornado they've ever seen here. Fairdale, Illinois is a tiny community. Only about 150 people live here. It's only about a quarter square mile. A disaster like this affects everybody here. Do you need, obviously you need a hug. Not far away, people from all over come to help out a family who also suffered heavy damage at their farmhouse and barn. If somebody's in need, boy, just everybody shows up and that's the great thing about farm communities. The De Benedettos tell us they were just about to insure their barn, but hadn't done so. However, they take it in stride. This is a St. Joseph statue, and what it's supposed to do is protect the home. Take it in stride because they were not hurt. Gary Tuckman joins us now. Did people get any warnings that the tornado was coming? Well, the small town of Fairdale, Anderson, does not have a tornado siren warning system, but some of the neighboring towns do. So people here say they heard the sirens in the other towns about 15 minutes before, and that was some good warning for them. In addition, people on their cell phones got messages. The messages read, warning, warning, take cover now, tornado. And that was also very important for people who live here. Behind me, Anderson, you can see the devastation. There's an incredible story here. You see that blue car right over there? A man was in that car when the tornado destroyed his house. He survived. He's OK today. But what we can tell you is the great sadness in this area, within a mile radius of where I'm standing, two women were found, and they died from their injuries. I will tell you, that's desperately sad. But last night, when we heard about how strong this tornado was, we were very fearful that the death toll would be much higher. Yeah, I mean, it looked better.